Hello children. Today we are I'm back with another exciting chapter. In the previous class we have learned about the birds and their bodies. Okay? And today in this chapter we are going to learn about nesting habits of the birds. Okay? Previously we learned about the birds itself, but today we are going to learn about the nesting habit. That means how do they build their nest? Okay, like we do, like we human beings build our houses. Okay, so how do they build their nest? Let's go to the chapter now. How birds reproduce? Okay, how do birds reproduce? All birds reproduce by laying eggs. When they have to lay eggs, they build homes called nests. Okay, all birds reproduce by laying eggs. Okay, they don't produce baby, but they produce an egg. So that before laying the egg, okay, they build their nest. Okay, like uh, if a bird, okay, if a mother bird is going to lay its egg, okay, she cannot lay the egg on the water, on the land, anyway. So they need to keep it safe from the other predators, okay, so that their eggs will not be eaten by snakes, okay, rattles, anything, okay. So that is why they build a nest. Usually the female bird, the mother sits on the eggs, keep them warm. Sometimes the male bird, the father also sits on them. Okay. After the egg has been laid by the mother, okay, the mother, the mother bird, okay, that is the that is the female bird, it sits on the egg so that they can keep the egg warm. Not only the mother but also the father bird also sit on the egg so that the egg will be kept warm. After a few days, the eggs break open and bury birds' chicks come out this is called hatching okay after several days okay after the mother and the father bird kept on sitting on the egg to keep them warm the egg slowly slowly hatches then from there it comes out small birds that is called chicks and this process is called hatching okay most chicks do not have feathers they are as helpless as you were when you were born some chicks have feathers and can run around okay so this First line, some chicks do not have feathers, they are helpless as you were when you were born, okay? When you, me, okay, were born, when we were very small, we were very useless. We cannot talk, we cannot see, okay? It was, okay, it depends only on our mother. Same like that, same like us, same like you, the baby small, the baby bird, the chicks, also they depend on the parents, okay? The parents will come, will feed them, okay? Same like that, our parents come and feed us. The parents protect and feed the chicks until they can look after themselves and learn to fly, okay? Until and unless the birds, the small bird learns how to fly, how to eat by themselves, the parents come and protect them, plus they feed them, okay? They look after the small birds. After the young birds fly away, the parents also leave the nest. Most birds build a nest, new nest every time they have to lay eggs, okay? Maximum of the birds, maximum of the birds, they build a new nest when the time of laying egg comes, okay? Right after the small birds learn how to fly, okay, the parents also left the nest and they fly away to another place, okay? Then when time comes for another laying of egg, okay, the parents, okay, the parent birds started to build the nest for laying the eggs. Okay, second point, kinds of nests. What are the kinds of nests that the birds build? Okay. What are the kinds of nests that the birds build? Let's see. Different birds build different kinds of nests. Most birds are most birds use twigs, leaves, cotton, or feathers to make their nest. Some birds use pebbles, ash, and mud. Okay. A weaver bird makes a bowl-like nest that hangs from a tree. The nest has an open Opening at the bottom through which the birds enters and leaves. Okay. A tailor bird stitches lips together to make a nest. An eagle builds its nest high on trees or clips with sticks and twigs. Okay. A weaver bird. You can see in our locality, I have seen many times. I don't know whether you have seen it or not. But if you see on a coconut, not coconut, sorry. Betel nut tree. Okay. Betel nut plant. You can see that... Uh, a round type, a bowl type nest is there and a hole is there at the bottom, okay, from there the weaver bird enters, okay, and comes home, okay. Then, next thing is the eagle, 
the eagle they build their nest high on cliffs, on the mountain cliffs or high trees. Okay, they don't build on the ground or on a small small tree, but they build on high high cliffs or high mountain cliffs or on high trees. Now next thing, next point is migration. Birds are great travelers. Many birds that live in cold places fly thousands of kilometers to warmer places during winter. They lay their eggs there. When the winter is over, they fly back with the young ones. Their long journey is called migration. Okay? There are some birds which are called as migratory birds. That means they fly from one place to another. Okay? That means when winter season comes, okay, example in Poilapul, if winter season comes, the bird, the migratory birds which are there in Poilapul will fly to another place. Example, take it as a silcher. Silcher is warmer. Okay? Here we are having winter season. For example, Silcher is having a summer season. So they are going to fly to Silcher. Okay? And they will lay their eggs in a warm place and after the eggs will hatch. Okay? The baby chicks will come out, they will learn to fly. Again, when the winter season will be over in Boiler Pool, okay, the birds which are there in Silcher, okay, then in Silcher winter season starts, Boiler Pool summer season starts. The birds which have flown from Boiler Pool to Silcher, the Silcher birds will come again back to the Boiler Pool. That is what they do, okay? And these are called, these birds are called the migratory birds. For example, Siberian cranes fly from Siberia in Russia to China or Iran in a winter season. See, this Siberian crane, okay? Siberian crane. Okay? These Siberian cranes, okay? They fly all, they fly, okay, thank you, they fly from Siberia all the way to well, China or Iran. Why? Because the Siberian crane is also known as a migratory bird. That means when in Siberia, that is which is there in Russia, the Siberia is in Russia, this Siberian crane which is there, which is present in uh, this one, Siberia. When the Siberia, when the in when Russia starts winter season, okay, this Siberian crane will fly all the way to China and Iran, okay, with, in the warm place. Siberia in the summer, they fly back to Siberia summer, okay. When the winter season will be over in Siberia, the birds, the Siberian cranes, which flown in China and Iran, will come back to Siberia back again at their home, okay. Then, no one knows how these birds find their way. Perhaps they use their position of the sun and the stars. Okay? Uh, after a few research, uh, researchers who are researching on the bird, the Siberian birds, they find out, okay, or they say that these birds, they fly with the help of the position of the sun and the stars. Okay? So here we come to an, another and of an exciting chapter that is nesting habits of birds. Okay, previous class we were discussing about birds and their bodies. Okay, so I'll get you back with that with another new exciting chapter in the next class. Okay, stay home, stay safe. Stay home, stay safe. Do it for yourselves. Do it for your family. Do it for India. Let's break the chain of COVID-19. Come home, yeah, come, yeah, Jai Hind.